hey guys hope you're all doing well welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos in case you're new here welcome my name is Dee Mwango from Kenya in Africa now here in the real villages in the Philippines and in case it's your very first time to come across this YouTube channel be sure to subscribe road to 300,000 subscribers give the video a like and leave a comment let me know what you think about today's video so guys it's another good day and I really thank God for life and having you guys as my team D and so guys today is that emotional day for me honestly speaking you know because today I want to give you the updates of the washrooms that uh, we've been constructing here in the village and I cannot get enough to thank you guys team D so for those who are totally new here I came to this village in the Philippines to create videos and when I came here I realized uh, people here don't have the washrooms you know washrooms you know how it's important to have the washrooms so I decided to come and ask you guys to help me donate so that we can make a reality for them and this village this is where the afro filipinos live they live deep in the forest as you all see you know and that's how their houses look like and that's the way of life here so you guys came through you donated and we started this project so it has not been easy you guys because it's deep in the forest you can even see where i'm passing right now do you see how the roads look like like it's deep if you go in here as you can see it's totally deep so the roads have been a problem a challenge here the rains like it has not been totally easy every day i have to walk like six kilometers to get here because there's no transportation like there's nobody who'd love to come and risk his car to pass on a, such a road you guys you understand me so it has been quite a journey but guys everything that has a beginning must have an end so today actually is second last day i think tomorrow everything will be done a hundred percent that being said our project is 90 can i say 90 percent complete for now and i want to give you the updates today you guys thank you so much for your blessings thank you so much for your support for your prayers honestly speaking i almost gave up in the middle because transportation of the materials was just something else because i had to get people to carry them on their head you know and um, it has not been easy for sure and actually the transportation cost was even much more than uh, the cost of materials because of the six kilometers i'm talking about where you have to walk and people have to carry the materials on their head so you can just imagine that hassle but anyway we've come a long way and we are almost done so let's head to the site let me show you uh what has taken place okay yeah, so this is where the afro filipinos live. You can see even the hair of their kids. Really beautiful. And I can't imagine I'm going to leave these cute babies very soon here. When I come here, they have to follow me around. <laughs> because they know when I'm here, there's food, you know, there's happiness. Which is a good thing, you guys. So, uh, let's go. Let me go and show you the progress of our washrooms here so guys this is how the village looks like this is where they live and you can imagine all this community has no washroom here that's why i saw it was really urgent for them to have some and thank you so much for coming through hi <laughs> so this is how the hi <laughs> So the kids are playing here as usual. And this is their home. Some ducks. So this is where we have uh, one of the washrooms. And guys, we decided to distribute the washrooms so that they can be accessible nearly, to nearly everybody. Because if we could build them in one place, it means people could really come from far to access the washroom so guys surprise do you guys love what you're seeing Augustine hi how you doing you're good so guys here we are today so I can't believe it oh my god you guys 
so guys finally this is how our washrooms look today today's updates oh my god you guys i can't believe it we've come a long way you know but you're not yet done but at least 90 percent of the work is done so as you've seen now you fix the doors oh my god i can't believe it and guys we are also fixed the towels vintage towels i love this color of the towels and this being in the village i think this was so thoughtful of me do you guys love them let me know in the comment box down below and also we fix the towels on the floor so we are remaining to fix the toilet bowl and also we have to paint up here you know so we have to give it some time to dry a little bit so these are the ventilations because of course you cannot do a washroom without a ventilation so now we're just remaining with the painting of the walls at the top as you all see and uh, after fixing the toilet bowl we'll call it a rub oh my god i can't believe it guys we created this team d you guys are the best you know without you i could not be able to do this so shout out to all of you may god bless you abundantly big shout out to iroid thank you so 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 much you know everybody who donated you guys you made this possible Dee could not do this by herself it's through you guys so now we have a toilet or a washroom <laughs> i can't believe now i have a door that i can lock and also we painted outside but they need to repaint one more time so that it can look clean and this is how it looks from the outside oh my god i can't believe it you know you guys are the best and also one of us suggested we should do a veranda out here which was so thoughtful and of course we have to do it out here so that uh, when it rains the water doesn't collect itself at the foot of the toilet you know so hopefully they'll be able to maintain this forever you know for the longest possible keep it clean and all that so the next video you want to be seeing i want to be showing you the washroom tour finally okay but for now this is what we have we've come a long way the roofing has been has been done as you all see and now we can see the results you guys my guys so let me know what you think in the comment box down below any advice let me know but as i've said after fixing uh all the tiles now we want to fix the toilet bowl and we want to make sure the walls are painted so that we can have excellent results you know but oh my god you guys I love you all. Thank you so much for making this possible. We are creating change here in the village. Okay, so all the washrooms, they're going to look like that. So I want to go to the other two washrooms and check out the progress. But this is one of them. And uh, the essence of us building these toilets far apart is because we want them to be easily accessible and this is the village you know where the afro filipinos live you know i'll make sure the dirt here is burnt later because they also need sensitization when it comes to cleanliness environment so this is how the village looks like for those who are completely new here and uh, i think building washrooms for them that was so thoughtful of you guys and i can't get enough of appreciating you so let's go and check out uh, the other washrooms. Let's go see the progress. You know, that's how their houses look like. Pure village life. You know, so finally guys. So let's go and check out the other one. And see what's happening. So this is where they always chill. Eat from here. Hang out. The kids are playing as always, you know. Hi. Yeah, those are the Afro Filipinos that I always talk about. So let's go and check out the other washrooms. And the rain is almost raining as we all see. So we need to really hurry up and do this. Oh, how are these birds called? Are they peacocks or I don't know? Remind me the names in the comment section down below it looks so beautiful wow so guys another washroom you're building it here and the essence of doing this is to make them accessible to nearly everybody here you know i think that was a good idea let me know so now uh this is the second washroom okay 
and uh, this is how it looks from the outside you guys my guys have come a long way so he's still fixing so they're fixing the door right now as you all see right there we are almost almost so let me show you how it looks like from the inside we've also fixed the towels as you all see you guys my guys we've come a long way so they're fixing the towels then later we want to fix the walls you know the walls will be painted so that they can look clean and nice huh? what do you guys think let me know and of course out here we want to put a veranda so that uh, we don't have water out here because i can't imagine them stepping inside water getting inside the washroom that will be so bad so we need to make sure the environment out here is conducive we need to levelize you know and also create a veranda right here so guys we're almost done as you all see you know it has been a journey but the next time you want to see the videos here will be done you know we'll be done doing this so maybe tomorrow they'll be done they'll be complete because hopefully today because it's still 2 p.m they'll be done fixing the floor tiles all right so that tomorrow we can do the final painting and fixing of the bowls and that will be the end of it uh so guys that marks the end of the video thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate in case you're new here welcome my name is Dee Mwango from kenya in africa now here in the real villages where the afro filipinos live and guys we are doing this project and guys i have to say this if it were not for you team d team Aaron, this could not be possible thank you so much for believing in me for helping me out you guys are the best i could not ask for any better audience like who does this who does this if not team d you guys are amazing so be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss on the final updates but guys what i want to say is may god bless all of you abundantly you guys you came in you donated your motivation it has not been easy then but we're doing it and we are almost done so may god bless all of us thank you so much for watching and guys may we continue doing this may we continue helping those who are in need basic needs like washrooms for sure we should be doing this as we travel the world when i go to the villages and we come across people who really need help i hope you'll always be there to support me as we do this everywhere we go so guys thank you so much for watching once more see you on tomorrow's video where i'll give you the updates on what would have uh, taken place here but we are almost there i love you guys see you on tomorrow's video bye bye greetings from the real villages here in the philippines